So I went into the um, ESC with the program card, which I have right there. And you see there, it says number one mode is for break, running like the running mode. Go back to the card, it says number one is battery type. So when you go through the actual programmer box, none of these titles on the left there actually match up. So make sure you do have this card with you when you are programming it, unless you do it on the computer itself. Um, then it is all fine on the computer. Uh, also here, as you see, the blacked out cells with the white text are default settings, 7.4. It is set to six actually. So someone screwed up here. That's why I said in the last video until I actually check it. Um, yeah, this is not correct. So all these other settings are correct. Uh, the 7.4 is not. So also, I'll just read out what the stock settings here are supposed to be. So one is battery type, two is punch, three is brake force, four is running mode, five is motor rotation, six is BEC. So you see star number one, that means default setting, six, number one, six volts. So I did also, like I hooked this up and then I was wondering, why is it not matching up? I mean, when I programmed the 130 here, that's 130 on the table. All the, all of these line up perfectly with what it says. So I don't know why. I mean, this is Spectrum. Everything here is Spectrum. Why is it giving me some different names? And then like you go back, there's only six modes. So um, do not go off of what this says. Make sure you have your card with you. So I take a picture of it. Plus, I'll put this in the package. Like, I usually put that in my bag in a little baggie with all the... Put the card with it. Put the cable. Put um, this cable that comes with as well with the USB Type-C. That's what you hook up to the computer with. So I just keep it all together. So this way, I hopefully don't lose anything. Um, Spectrum does give you a booklet for it, for the ESC. But... The booklet it comes with is the exact same booklet for my 130, the 150, the 160. So that is why they give you this sheet. Because it does not come with it in the book. So they didn't even update a new book for it. They just gave you an old book and a new card, I guess, for it. And even here, like I said I, in the last video, I mean, it was probably hard to see. The GoPro didn't do a good job. But 6.4 and 7 volts. That's not on the outside of the box. The outside of the box is 6 volts. Their website says 6 volts. Nothing other than this sheet right here and here say that this is 7.4 capable ESC. So it is nice. I do appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, uh, the stock ESC is not going to, uh, uh, servo is not going to handle it. But when I upgrade this servo, I will be going to 7.4 volts. And the other funny thing was this new 100. I don't know about the 85 probably the 120 will also go up to 7.4 but the 130 does not it's only six volts and the 150 only six volts the 160 though you can go to 8.4 volts well, that's obviously a lot bigger right so yeah i guess they're now catching up with going 7.4 volts or you know giving you a choice but it would have been nice if they actually put that you know in the right spot so yeah so don't worry about it if you do get this esc drop it right in go have some fun with it like don't worry about that don't don't trust the card <laughs> in that sense but uh and then don't trust the programmer with what it says up at the top um yeah just a little heads up there for anyone who does get this um esc and gets this like don't worry about getting this right away you can still change the parameters with the buttons and stuff if you really wanted to um this is just nice for you need this to um, upgrade the firmware, if there's any firmware updates for it. None for this. Uh, there's four different versions of the firmware for the uh, the 130, um, which I upgraded, uh, updated it to the newest one. So, yeah, just make sure you have this card anytime you're going to program it. So, just a little heads up there for anyone.